kind of a kind of a mixed bag weekend. What are the positives? What are the negatives from a one on one weekend? Um, hopefully, we can find a lot of positives and room to grow from. Kingsville, I thought we started out of the gates really quickly, got on top of them. Um, never really allowed it to be a close game. Um, collective team effort too. We had a lot of people contributing, scoring that game. Um, and then quickly had to move on to Angelo State, which we knew was going to be a tough game. Um, I thought we started off actually the game pretty well, made the first couple buckets, um, and just never really got settled in that first half from the defensive end. Um, and really throughout the game, made that run late in that third quarter, late in the third quarter going into the fourth. Uh, we gave ourselves every opportunity to walk away with that win and a uh, few too many turnovers. Um, they hit a couple big threes late in the game to kind of keep themselves in it. Um, you know, we're going to learn from it. We're going to watch the film today and definitely learn from it because um, at this time of the year, you don't get to practice and learn as much as probably through the film. Um, but tough loss for us, disappointed because we, you know, we thought that we definitely had a chance to walk away with that win and, pro and probably should have uh, just didn't make enough plays when we needed to throughout the game. All right, close out the regular season this week at home. It's tough commerce in Tarleton and then on to the LSC tournament. So what's important about this? Yeah, two really big conference games for us. Two games that we went on the road, lost to commerce, lost to Tarleton. Um, so, I mean, I'm hoping that we're going to have solid focus this week stepping in. Both of these teams are playing well. Commerce is. They're just finding uh, ways to win those games late. And they've had a few close games, but they're figuring out how to win those games late. And Tarleton, I mean, they just, you're always going to get their best. They just never take possessions off. Uh, really just a tough-minded team. Um, so for us, it just starts with Commerce. That's the next game in front of us. We'll focus on them and get ready for Tarleton um, when we need to on Saturday. Uh, but big conference games, still big in-region games for us as well. With you and Commerce being tied for third in the Lone Star Conference, I mean, how does this play into, I mean, coming up tournament time in a couple of weeks? Every game is big, I guess, right now. Um, and every, you know, everything from the region is getting evaluated right now too. So it's an in-region game um, for us, meaning that they're ranked in region as well. Um, and I mean, we still have a chance. I guess a lot of things would have to happen, but to maybe even be in second place. Um, but we got to take care of business from our side of it first. So, um, you know, third place, second place. I, I think it's all we have to control what we control, and that's commerce. That's right in front of us. Any update on Lexi? No, last week you, said she you know, she's there. day by day. I'm not really for sure. It's, you know, right now, it's she's not going to be back anytime soon. So. Um, was senior night will be Saturday, I'm mm -hmm. assuming that. Um, what are some of the thoughts about the senior class that will be playing the final game at First United Bank Center? Yeah, we have a really special group of seniors um, this year, five of them, which is crazy. Um, Every senior has won a championship here that, that, while they've been here, which is pretty crazy, too. Every senior has played in the NCAA tournament. Um, it's, they're a special group in regards to they've really led our team well this year. Um, I've seen them grow. I've seen them mature as just leaders overall, like on the court, off the court, uh, keeping our team together through good, bad. Um, they all kick butt in the classroom as well, which makes it even that much better with the kind of group that we're going to be. I say graduating, feels like it's losing at the same time. Um, three of the five have been here for four years. Uh, so just true program kids that have really believed, bought into what we've been doing. And, uh, and they've all contributed to the success that we've had the last couple of years. So um, couldn't be more proud of them and what they've done and hopefully what they will continue to, to do for us this year.